The journey of the HIV virus into the human body begins at a mucosal surface, such as during sexual contact, where the virus must cross this protective barrier to establish infection. Upon entry, the virus navigates through the tissue fluid and soon encounters a key player of the immune system, a dendritic cell, which mistakenly captures HIV and carries it like a Trojan horse directly to the lymph nodes. Within the lymph nodes, the virus seeks out its primary target, the helper T cell, a commander of the immune response. HIV specifically recognizes the CD4 receptor and a co-receptor on the T cell's surface, latching on with precision. The viral envelope then fuses directly with the T cell's membrane, allowing the virus's genetic core to be injected into the cell's cytoplasm inside the host cell. The virus's RNA is reverse transcribed into DNA, a unique step that hijacks the cell's own machinery. This viral DNA is then transported into the nucleus and integrated into the host's chromosomes, turning the T cell into a permanent factory for new viruses. The infected cell now begins to produce thousands of new viral particles, which bud off to infect more T cells, systematically depleting their numbers and gradually crippling the entire immune system, leading to the vulnerability that defines AIDS.